All right, hello everyone. This is Miss Michelle, and today I'm going to show you how to use Blockly on your computer. So we start by going to code.makewonder.com. We are going to play with dash and dot, not Q. We don't have Q. And you'll be brought directly to here. You need to put in my teacher code, which is M Q one M seven. You'll only need to do this once on a new computer. Afterwards, it should take you right into your profiles. So here's my name, Miss Miss Steiner, Miss Michelle Steiner, and profiles. Hooray! Okay, so now you can see every single class. Let's choose 401, for example, and you'll notice that I've created a profile for everyone and Wonder has automatically generated a picture and a color. Let's say you want to change that. So you select, go back to the profiles, and you notice once that profile is selected, this little crayon icon appears in the corner. You click on that and you can see the name and all these different options. So you'll notice that the name is locked. This is the automatically generated name that was created. You can absolutely change that, only I have the power to do so and you do not. So I can come around and change that for you afterward. However, on your end, you are able to change the color of your background and also put any image you'd like to have as your profile. If you're not able to do this or you're not interested, you can just leave it how it is. Okay, then once we go inside, you'll see three different options. You have puzzles, my projects, and create new. Don't worry about these for now, these two. We're only going to focus on the puzzles to begin. Here's the map of the puzzles. You'll notice that driving school and dash the snowman are unlocked, whereas all the rest are locked. I will unlock them when we are ready to do them. But everyone's going to begin at Driving school. Welcome to driving school. And you're taken to this beautiful aerial view of Dash's neighborhood, which you can watch later with the cute little sounds. Okay, so this is what all the puzzles look like. We have the nice traffic light up in the corner, and right here you'll have the start to run your program. And here we have a description of what you are being asked to do in this particular puzzle and a nice picture hint. Hey, I want some more room, bring this down, and you can see right here where you're going to be putting all of your code. On the right, you'll notice there's this rectangle with a picture of Dash inside, inside of Dash's neighborhood. If you are not near a robot, you will automatically be brought to Dash's neighborhood so that when you write your code, you'll be able to see a robot move around. You have an avatar of a robot. But if you have a robot nearby, you click the plus sign up here, Notice there's nothing being found here. That's because I have no robot nearby. So if you are working from home, you can absolutely uh, use Dash's neighborhood. And then we start our puzzles. So good luck. Any questions?